Okay, now I will answer questions from MMA Fight Universe. No, I didn't anticipate, you know, I didn't know he was there. I just went to train, serious train. I, uh, I, I am always trained, so I went to train with Jake Shields, and uh, it's a coincidence. Jake Shields was a friend of Nate Diaz, and he's supposed to fight Shimaev. Shimaev was there on that day, so was, I, I didn't anticipate. I, I, you know, it was not uh, something planned. I just went to train. Was his choice came to to talk with me? He decided to start this. <laughs> he decided to start this for sure because I was there just training the mat, you know. On, it's not was not in the same place that he was. He was in the cage. So when I think when he finished, he came to start that. Yeah, I, mean, I was there ready to that. You know, I always if it, you know, somebody here coming to fight, I will fight right now, because why not? Because we are fighters and what we do is like this. So when I was there and he said, okay, right, fight now, I say, sure, let's go. I'm the mat, just jump in. I, I, I told him and uh, he said, no, come you here. I said, okay, I'll go in the outside. But the people was there. I I don't think he want to fight that, that moment. He was maybe cut, cut weight. You know, it's the fight week. You are so stressed. He has trained already. I don't think he he came to fight. I think he came just to ask um, to know what what's going on between me and him. You know, but if the fight happened, I don't know the the results. You know, I was with broken hand. Maybe he could get some some uh, advantage, but I was there. I was there, ready for what he brings to me. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, I think, I think me, because I, man, I had a lot of trouble in Brazil, in the school, almost every week. Every week the guys want to fight me. I don't know why. <laughs> I was a nice guy, man, in the school, and the people want to fight me every single week. So I need to learn how to fight in the streets, you know. Thanks God, I, don't, I didn't die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's why I came to to gym to train to practice some martial arts skills. And I know Shimaev uh, went to swearing. I don't know when, but I think he gave up to you know grow up like a, a grow up grow man on on there because he looked for easy place to. To stay like Sweary. I think so because, you know, Sweary don't, don't have tough guys to fight in the street. I think it's very civil people, the nice people. So, why he don't came to the United States or Russia or Kazakhstan or some, somewhere, you know, the people who used to fight in the streets or Brazil? No, he go to Sweary. So, I, probably me, I have. How many fights I have, Tamar, in my, in my street career? <laughs> Maybe. A yeah, a lot. Ah, it's a lot. Let me see the crazers. Uh, yeah, one time, one time I was come back from the school walking. Yeah, I I always used to walk from the school and go to school walking as well. So I was come back to the home and two guys. No, I saw two guys, but it has one more uh, across the street, another side of the street, and one guy came to take my head, <laughs> take my head, and I instantly. Look for that, and he started to punch somebody, and another guy came from and hugged me. I <laughs> throw, I, I throw him from like a souple, and but but they they kick my ass, they they punch me a lot, 
But I got my head, they hit me, they hit me so, so badly. I cut the mouth, you know, yeah, but I took my head. I interesting because I we create some some beef between me and him, and uh, when these kind of things happen, you know you create animosity. The people want to see fight like this. The people create interest on this kind of fight. I think, and he's popular as well. Me too, but he bring a lot of people from a region. different regions. So. And he has a, a different style. We have a lot strikers in the middleweight, and he's a grappler. So maybe he's the dangerous grappler if he moved to 185 pounds middleweight. So that's why I'd like to fight. I'd like to test myself, you know? I, I, I think the good challenge is, 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 is good for every fighter. And I like the, the challenge myself. I did this against Homer, I did this against everything that I fought. And I, I'd like to test my ability against him too. My man, when I saw, because I went, when I was fighting, I presume he was put blood on my face, but I didn't 100% sure of that because I was fighting, worried about his hands, yeah. just, you know, think about control him to not get punched, something like that. But when I saw after fight, the the uh, small cut of, of the part of the fight, man, I saw disgusting. But at the same time, I was happy because I was loud. So it's a weird moment, <laughs> you know. It's good because it's, it's part of my my fight histories. But uh, I, I, I didn't want that, man. I, I prefer that if I go... Um, go Back to the past, I, if I sh if I knew that he would do to to do that, I I try to avoid his face or something. I don't know, but I didn't like <laughs> for sure. Blood on my my mouth, man, it's crazy. Okay. Yeah, it's interesting for sure because you know it's uh it's, it's talk we we talk about my weight class division tire shot. And uh, so I need to to watch that fight and try to get something in my benefit, you know, how those guys will fight. But I think they will mostly fight stand up. I don't think anybody of them will try to put down. Yeah, I can I can be wrong, but I think that, you know, Ali. So... Uh, yeah, I'm interested to to watch the fight, but I don't have I I I I don't have any prev any predictions who you who gonna win, man. It's a it's tough fight, you know. What to think? Wh who would you choose to fight next if you have an option? Mm. Adesanya or Pereira? Adesanya. Adesanya, Adesanya, because I have been a b business to you know, to show, to, to solve with him. So let's say Adesanya will lose and Pereira will have a title and UFC will offer you a title fight with Pereira Good or question. just regular fight with Adesanya? Good what question. Oh, this is a tough question. I don't like to, I, I, I don't like to choose this because I want... Title. I want title and I want to fight Adesanya as well. So it's a hard question, man. I don't know. Racer right title, now. Ah! Title, right? <laughs> ah! I want to be at the CNS first. first. I you need to do this. Yeah. I that. Well, my manager has a different, a different, different thoughts, but it's personal. <laughs> so probably manager will say, "You fight Pereira, you got the." Makes sense for the business. And then Adesanya come to you. Yeah. yeah. We, 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 we will receive more money. Yeah. yeah. And Adesanya will, will want to be fight yeah. him after. Yeah. Your yeah, will be makes for sense. You. But you know, we fighters don't think with the mind; we think with the heart. So, the heart, 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 heart. Yes, give me some experience to taste the real, the real flavor of the disappointment. You know, my disappointment I, by myself, against myself, and the. The audience, the fans, disappointment for who 
uh, how a much better performs by me. So I grew up a lot with all these feelings together. It was very hard to me to handle with this feeling, you know, uh, because I, mean, I was so angry with myself because I did nothing in the fight. I had zero possibility to fight on that night, on that morning. The fight was, was morning on Abu Dhabi. And uh, I did very, um, very big mistakes before in doing the fight. The night before was horrible to me. And uh, and this make the fight go for their way. So, but I grow up a lot, you know, you cannot go back on the past. So what you can do is take everything, look for where you, you did wrong, where you did right, fix that and keep going. And that's exactly what I did. So I grow up a lot and uh, I think as a fighter and a human, a being human, I, I changed something for, for better. And uh, I just put everything on the right place to not this, the, same, the same mistakes again. I can do the new mistakes, but not the same again. So this makes Paulo a better fighter and better person. Yeah. Yeah, only fans is not for sexual content or naked content, you know. Only fans is another platform, it's like a pay to view pay-per-view, something like this. And a lot of fighters, you know, I, I, I follow the boxer, big one, I have one, uh, Ruiz, and he has his own fans as well, you know, so it's another way to keep in contact with a few fans. So when I told this, I really told on a kind of joke, but after that, the people say, hey, it's not a joke, it's real. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm not talking about the sexual content. I of talk course, about the, the different content and different platform. And different fans, maybe you bring it in. For sure. Someone came to watch some other content, they see Paulo, okay, let me tell you about the MMA, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We fight as other, we are not animals. <laughs> we are not just animals that go to beat somebody there. No, man, we can talk, we can talk about business, as we did, came here. We can talk about every a lot of things. You can help this sport uh, grow up even more and reach more people. That's my goal. Is yeah, OnlyFans offered you some deal? Not yet. Not yet. I didn't talk with them yet. OnlyFans. OnlyFans. Let's the take deal. the opportunity. Huh? Contact. Uh, contact Tamara. Someone contact me, but I talk with her. Oh, yeah, from OnlyFans? Already? Uh, oh, that's good, good news. I didn't know. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, not, not, not naked content, right? Huh? Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's so tough to, to hear that. He's young already. Not so young, but not too old as well. I think he could still fighting. And we have a, a big event on Rio Janeiro coming up in January. I, I really think he should f uh, finish that on Rio Janeiro. But he see, yeah. But man, he did a lot. I think he deserves some some rest. He deserves a lot of respect, and uh, he's a legend. And what is your favorite person or uh, your fa favorite fighter or like person who would you be fun for you follow? I have any per any, Let's say don't take any parts. What is your ah, okay. role model? Mm, it's a hard question, you know. But uh, I think. Uh, I have a lot of inspiration and in, uh, in the soccer player, not Brazilian. He's, I think he's from Sweden. Sweden. Uh, what is that guy? Ibrahim. Ibrahim. Yeah. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. He's so confident. You know, he's taller from the the regular soccer's. He's taller than than, than the regular soccer's. And he can do a lot of different things, has a lot of ability, and so confident. You know, that's why I, I, I like Zlatan Ibrahimovic. 
I think Cristiano Ronaldo is another soccer player. He's a real model of athlete. He's always the shape, you know. And, uh, but talk about fighters, I like Muhammad Ali. In MMA, I like the both. Kono and Khabib. Different persons, completely different, but great athletes. I think Khabib is more concentrating just in the fights. You know, he fight very well. He beat everybody. And Conor is like a full package. He talk very good. He he's a very good fighter too. Not so good not like Khabib. Because Khabib do perfect. But Conor is a full package. So I think these four people, five people. Mohamed Ali, Christian Ronaldo, Zlatan, um, Conor and Khabib. Thank you. Just my friend, my pleasure. Thanks a lot.